What's up, LS fam? So in this video, I'll be showing how to remove front strut, coil over, shock, whatever you want to call it. But uh, let's turn on the light. Okay, so I already started, as you can see. I try to make videos as I'm doing stuff. Kind of forgot a little bit on this one, but I figure while I'm here, show you guys the process. First, remove your wheel. If you don't know how to remove a wheel, ask me and I'll make a video about it. But So you take off your wheel. Um, the first thing I normally do is put a jack um, somewhere either over there. The reason, I mean a jack stand, the reason you want to free up your jack is because you're going to need it to push this up. It makes, we don't need it, but it makes things a lot easier. Because uh, this sway bar link, that's a custom, don't ask. Um, links this, the sway bar, to right here. And this will have pressure on it, so it's really hard to take that off. So what I do is use the jack to push this up to relieve pressure, and it makes that sway bar link come off a lot easier. So after that... Um, you remove your bottom bolt from your strut, which is this one. Uh, I think it's an 18 on one side, and I believe the other side, 13 sixteens. I forgot what side the what size the other side is, but they're two different sides. I mean sizes. Sorry. Once that's removed, all you gotta do is remove these four nuts which i'm in the process of doing right now some idiot put them on really tight don't ask me who that was because i'll deny it so i wish i could fast forward i'm gonna pause it so I got those all pretty much loosened up. I thought I had them pretty loose. So it's just these four, which are the four around. Do not remove the middle one. You remove this one, you're gonna free up the shock from the spring. And uh, yeah, that's a compressed spring, so you don't wanna do that. Then when you take this out, especially if you took this out already, it's gonna be very difficult to get that out. So that's all freed up. Now it's a pain to just bring the thing off. Uh, let me go get my crowbar. All right, I'm back. Got this screwdriver and this crowbar. Let's see. Which one? It's too big. I'm going to ask the wedges thing out of here. I just did the other side. You think I'd remember how I got it out of there, but. I do remember it was a pain. Out the way.
All right, I freed it up. So basically what I did, don't even worry about this. If I could rewind it, I would. Um, basically what I did was put one hand over here, one hand on this head and just pull back and it'll pull it either. Some are easier than others. This thing for some reason was a pain. Now you can just push down on this. So there you go. And yes, I got e bags on here, so yours might not look like that. But that's all it is. And you get a look at my next video to see how to remove these that's why i'm taking my shock out or strut out today because i'm taking these out because they're squeaking really bad and it's annoying as hell so hope you like my video i know they're not the greatest i try to help please like and subscribe anybody you know that owns lls hit them up and tell them to join my lsf family on facebook and instagram